Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. This is my first vlog and introduction to myself. The reason why I started this channel was to try something new. Uh, I always want to be a content creator for YouTube. I have some experience with vlogging about custom vape mods back in the days. I always wanted to do vlogging, but I never ended up doing it. Long story short, I got bored, moved on from the hobby. The goal of this channel is to show my experience in building handguns and customizing guns. I also got also getting better at shooting and I might join some competitions. I'll show that on my channel also. The name Paper Tiger Dude is an inside joke among my friends. The meaning of the Paper Tiger is a person that seems scary but is really harmless just like me for a handgun. But I plan to get better through practice and training. So with that out of the way, let's talk about my first Glock 34 build. So let's go over the parts with this gun. Um, this is the Glock 34 slide from Safari Precisions. Um, this is the black armor finish. Well, I think this is the ZP6 design. Um, it's pretty damn nice. I really like it. See the cutouts, the back serrations are pretty, pretty nice too. Feels great when you grab it. And then the barrel itself I got is also the Zar Fiery Precision's threaded barrel. Um, I end up putting a Tribes Defense Compensator on it. The barrel itself, as far as wear and tear, put about a thousand rounds through it. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of wear and tear. Let me actually take it apart and show you the internals of some wear and the slide. So as you can see, I haven't cleaned it yet, but I will after my next shooting range. But um, yeah, here's some wear and tear. I'm not sure you guys can see that, but yeah, it's kind of hard showing you for camera. But yeah, um, the internals I got, the upper internals I got, was also from Savari Precisions. It's their kit. Um, I do have some issues with it, but. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. Um, and then with this, the frame is the P80 frame. Uh, I did the simpling job myself. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised how it good it kind of came out. But there's some imperfections if you look closely to it. But far away, it looks pretty good. And personally, I definitely like how it feels. Um, as far as the trigger, I left it stock. And with my P80 kit, lower kits frame, uh, parts kit, it came with two triggers. So it came with kind of like the curved trigger, the one right here, and then the flat faced trigger. So the pull on it is about five pounds. Here, let me actually test the trigger for you guys. I do have a trigger tester. Uh, it's a digital one, but I'm not sure how good it is, but let's see how it goes. All right, so about 5.3 pounds, and let's try it again, actually. Oh, it says six pounds this time. It's kind of weird. And let's try it again. five pounds okay yeah average around six to five I don't know maybe there's something wrong with my gun <laughs> but yeah let's go let's move on from this uh, the, as far as the suppressor height sights I got the Ameriglo uh, this is a sister company of Trigicon if you guys didn't know that but this is like 40 50 bucks you know it was really cheap it looks super aggressive I love the look on it it's made out of metal right um for that price you didn't expect it to be metal i thought it's gonna be plastic right but yeah overall it's really in easy to install i really like the look of it and um the the coat witness is pretty good too with the with my uh, green dot as you say so this is the hollow suns uh he 507 c2 um 
this is a really nice um, green dot. It's really nice. It has that big circle around it to help you acquire your target a lot faster. Uh, it's supposed to be a triangle, and this is the primary arms uh, special edition one, so you can only get out primary arms. <clears throat> But um, I do have the old one, which I had it on this gun, but I end up putting it on my Glock 37. Um, I'm gonna do a little size comparison with the Glock 17 first, and then the Glock 17L, which is a Zafire Precision Slide also. So let's kind of angle this camera or these guns. So this is my Glock 17. I've done nothing to it. It's completely stock. Uh, let's, okay, let's move it up a little bit more. There you go. Wait, no, you can't see the gun. Uh, it's still kind of rough, but oh, whatever. But yeah, as you can see, you know, this, the slide is way longer, right? And it's funny, I can switch these uh, slides over. Even though this is Gen 4, all I need to do is change the back um, black plate and the work <clears throat> and then I gotta take this little beaver tail out so I can actually run a mag well but yeah this is the size comparison to a regular Glock and then here is a Glock 17L <clears throat> which has the older version of the hollow sun this is the red dot version and look how long this is it's kind of ridiculous this is a, a my range guns you know I'm not not daily carrying this. I would carry the Glock 17 as my daily, but yeah, these, as far as daily carries, I probably not would not carry these. Uh, they're not really reliable yet. I want to make these reliable and make them shoot efficiently, uh, but it's gonna take some time. You know, I'm still learning. You know, as far as a shooter, I'm usually the gun guy in the group, but you know, compared to other guys that I know, like. Uh, some of my friends that do real competitions you know like they're more acquaintance than friends but those guys can shoot and i've been shooting with them and it gave me a lot of good tips but you know i gotta really learn and train more by myself right um only people that that tell you information you can go only so far with it so the best thing you can do is actually train yourself and keep practicing dry firing stuff like that but yeah, there's a size comparison between these two guns. I'll talk about my 17L on a later channel, but I'm more focused on the Glock 34. Since it is my first build, and I'm pretty proud of it. I'm really satisfied at how it looks. Overall, as far as shooting it, I did run into issues with this frame. The frame I had on it was a Glock 17 Gen 3, which was on my 17L right now. But I decided to go with the P80 frame because I always wanted to try to build my own P80. Um, you know, it wasn't that hard. Uh, I was really surprised how easy it was. There was some kinks here and there, but you know, just gotta smooth it out. I definitely recommend, uh, I believe his channel was Marine Gun Builder P80. I could be wrong, but he is a really knowledgeable guy. Uh, you can look him up. Great stuff, great information he has. But yeah, one of the issues I ran into with this gun was ejection issues. You know, <clears throat> every time I sh was shooting, I, I have a little video later um, at the end of my video. It pretty much when I sh would, it would shoot good, but it would not eject my bullets. It was really annoying. But I looked up one of these videos and the Marine gun builder was telling me I should get this thing right here so it's the failure resistance extractor it comes with the ejector pin another spring right so you're gonna replace this because I'm pretty sure it's the fire precision is their upper upper kit for their slides you know they probably don't make them themselves so I can see why there would be some issues with the p80 frame so I do have these parts to try it out and hopefully it will fix the issue I have with ejecting and yeah overall I'm really happy with this build 
the light itself, you know, I, I have a bunch of lights. I have the Surefire um, X300s, both A and B. Uh, I love them both. I do have the TLR 1HL, which you saw on my Glock 30. I'm sorry, my Glock 17L. Uh, but I did get a mod light. I'm, I might switch it out with that. But that's a whole different story. Uh, I really appreciate you guys coming by, checking out my channel. Uh, if you like my channel, like and subscribe. I do have a link tree with the build list, with all the prices and the total of it. Probably without uh, tax and shipping, but you know, I'll, it's a pretty much rough estimate of how much this build costs. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you very much, and you guys have a nice day. Bye bye.